We're here at the CT Barber Expo in Mohegan Sun, and I'm I can probably pick you up Sunday night so you can come and hang out right. on Monday, okay? Right. Right. But, you know, don't forget. I won't forget to sex me, okay? Right. What is family to you? To me, family is everything. These precious moments with my little brothers, my mother, my stepfather are so important. These hugs, these kisses mean everything to me. I don't get to live near them anymore, so whenever I get a chance to spend any time, I don't take it for granted. So I hug on tight and make sure I give them my everything. And then I prepare myself mentally to get to work. They're waving from far. Wow. I'm literally going an hour away for the CT Expo, but you know, I don't get to see them that much. So it's nice when I get to see my family. And I, get, I get emotional. But we're gonna go work. We're gonna go shut it down. We're gonna do what we do for the industry. You know, we're here. Yo, let's get your first bite on ca on camera, bros. Look at how much cheese this guy's gonna put on his shit. Damn. Oh, 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 oh. All right, here we go. Oh, it was hot, bro. Fire for your side. It was cool down a little bit. Ah, never mind. That was one. <laughs> the first bite was that hot. The second time was hot. 7.5. That's an 8. Solid 8. 8.3. 8.3. Uh, uh, crust is good. Not enough cheese. Look at that. He said crust is good. It's just in the front. Not enough cheese right there. Is there any pepperoni in there? One pepperoni. Yeah. 4.9. Oh. <laughs> I'll give that an eye. Hi, uh, We're gonna go watch the fight, guys, so I'll see you. The battle. Oh, shit. Oh! 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 Nick, you gotta dirt. Yo, you gotta hurry up, brothers. Fight fast. Push you. Oh, shit! Canelo! the CT Barber Expo and we're launching the street art legend. Birdman on the one and only with the 12 L. All right, it's time for the after party. Let's go. Hold on, the door is not open. It was time to change clothes and move those shoulders. I had the place jumping, but I couldn't do it alone. I needed the people as well. The barbers were lit, everyone was jumping, mariachis came out, and you hear it here. But then my friend whispered in my ear, I don't know how to do this shit. And I told him, don't worry, I got you. Check out the moves, check out the yellow boots. 
He looked down and we started to dance together. We became the best as a friends and this is why the CT Expo is such a special one. Because you build relationships and then you go back and continue dancing, but we need to dance in slow motion. So Marino, give me a slow motion shot. Slow motion shot. Okay, escalator time. She was a barber at the shop that I worked at. We used to work next to each other, bro. Yeah, yeah, we worked next to each other and she helped me in my beginnings, bro. I would tell her like, hey, I'm starting this project called Sharp Fade and I would be, and she's like, oh, you got this. You're gonna be, you're gonna do good. Yeah, yep. right. I said, hold on, hold on, get it strong, make it strong. Make it strong, make, cause you look like a baby when it first started. And I said, yeah. they're not gonna take you serious. Yeah. Make it strong, make it really good. Yeah, I created Sharp Fade with the purpose of being the media outlet for barbers to help barbers grow. You're doing it now, fantastic. Thank you. you I'll never forget you. Thank it's always you. loud. I'll never forget you. I'm watching you. I just, you I was, my heart just dropped when I seen her. I was like, oh. I'm bringing tears to my eyes. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I was like, is that burning? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And I grew it to millions of followers. And like four years ago, I lost the page, bro. Like in a day, bro, I lost all the millions of followers in a day. And that was hard on me, bro. You know, years later, I was like, oh man, I want to build a team. <laughs> It really if you're gonna do something right do it right yeah. all the way all the way with it it'll take you and look at you now blossom from social media to getting involved with clip companies like wall he knows what it is to be a barber that is trying to get to the next level and he's a living example of the next level education is the nucleus of our industry it is what allows us to rise and elevate and continue the growth of our creating careers. lanes for other people to find their own lane that's that's, that's cool to see. In an ever-evolving industry, it is crucial to guide and influence our next generation of barbers. I just really didn't want to be behind the chair. You know, I really wanted to have a, a, a bigger purpose in the industry. We're pulling up to pick up my brothers to take them to WWE, but they don't know. Look at their excitement. Who's excited? Let's go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Vámonos, sí. Do you know where we're going? No. no. Come on, give it a guess. See the, the circus. Okay, okay, another good guess. What, what about Elmer? Oh, the circus. The circus too? In three seconds, we're about to go to, you know, the place. Three, two, one. That's right, we brought him over to the WWE Raw. One, two, and the guy kicked off. I was shocked. My brother wasn't that shocked. But it's okay. I was still excited because the guy was jumping over the rope and bow. Oh, Dane was excited and his boys were excited. And we started yeeting. Yeet, yeet, yeet. And I took a picture of my little bros. We took the wrong exit. We we're running late. I don't think we're going to make it. Rise of Hair is like a creative event. It's an experience. It's a place where you go to learn. If you had the opportunity to see what some of the best education possible, cosmetology and barbering, that's the one thing that Bird has consistently done. He's merged the two. I felt a lack of creativity within these shows, you know, a lot of templates. When you have like a template, it's like, you know, cut and paste, cut and paste. Here, every year it changes. Every year is a new message. Every year is a new theme. That's aside from the education that you're getting. So you're getting really great education, but then you're also living an experience. Shout out one time for Sub Life brand, Vitamins and Nutrition, and Twig and his old team for always taking care of me when I land in Connecticut. All right, let's cut to the podcast. Come on. The kids nowadays or the youth, they have like some fire spots, man. They're like in their garage or they're in, in, in their basement and it's all decked out. Mine look more like the bathrooms from the Saw movie. <laughs> but this kid was trying to like mess with me, like, you know, trying to test me, so I, I threw him in the urinal. <laughs> How long you known Bird for? Man, uh, my sophomore year. This is my bro for a long time, you know? Yeah, man. We've known each other for so many years, so... He's got a good influence. This guy never changed, ever, ever. He's still the same. Obviously, you change as you grow up, but he's still Bird. Still remember just like high school. It's crazy. Yeah, that's wild, bro. <laughs> huh? Nah, I, look, I, look, I low key looked up to Bird, though, man. Uh, I was the new guy in school, sophomore year, and I had a homeroom with him. Like to me, he's still like not famous because I, I just know him. That's why, like you know, when I see him, it's all it's always love. It's always the same. Look, he's got kids and everything. 
We have a bunch of minions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it just feels like like my boys are still the same like age. We just look a little different, a little bit, but they're, it's like the same dude, bro. It's crazy. When did when did you like make it? Like make it like what? Seven years ago? Six? Yeah, it's been Something some years like now. Yeah. Oh wow. Like, Eight years almost. He always visits. Every time he comes down here, he tries his best to visit everybody. Uh, he really cares about him. You know? Love you, shout out to Ruger. Shout out to everybody yeah, else. Shout out to Ruger, you know? And then a car pulled up, and the guy gets out, and then he says, Hey, yo! He says my name. Not everybody knows my name, so I was like, How the fuck do you remember me, bro? That's, that's, that's just how I roll, man. I don't forget stuff. Look how it happens. You remember Tally? Remember Tally? Remember Talis? Remember North End? Remember Nick, Nick Dean? Remember Nick all those Dean. guys? I was just with Nick Dean. Yeah? Yo, what's, what's your name? Javon! Yo! It's, don't, don't even trip, man. I just thought your name was Swiss, so I'm just be like... <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, it's just a start. <laughs> bro, what, bro? Yeah. No way, we used to chill and shit, bro. It, it's that wholesome, you feel that good? Yeah, bro. Bro, I don't know if you know my story, bro. I've been, I've been, I don't even live here. I've been traveling the world. I Where? grew up a business and yeah. Where? Yeah, so I'm like, bro, like bring me back to some shit. You know, I was yeah, just yeah. with Nick too. It went yeah. by fast. And I'm like, Nick, tell me some of this shit. And like, we're like recording it. It goes by so yeah. fast. And then you come out and you tell me that shit. I'm like, bro, nobody <laughs> knows my name, bro. <laughs> but you remembered me, bro. Yeah. How? Um, to be honest with you, I don't know. I think it's, it's crazy, just, remember? It's just, all the way from there is crazy. It's just a gift that God gave me, bro. To be honest with you. And I treasure that, yo. So, um, remembering names and remembering people, you know what I'm saying? It's just... It's like, a, you looked at me and you knew who I was right away, bro. Absolutely. Scream that sh The Ingram. Bro, <laughs> yeah. I, I, that, is, that was the most, like, shocked thing I've, like, ever. Really? Ever, yeah, bro. Really? You don't follow me on Instagram, nothing. You don't know nothing no. that I'm doing. No. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, yeah. what? Look, I'm disconnected. I just, I'm on social media, then I get off. I stay disconnected so I could just really like stay grounded, be one with myself. And just being able to be, just being still allows me to feel everything that's going on around me. So although I might not hear the news, I might not see what's going on, I already know what's going on. Or being still, I don't have to be on social media. Look where I'm at. I'm at the old house where I grew up, right here. And I mean, this is beautiful. I can't believe I'm even on this street right now. This is the little island myself and my friends used to play uh, wiffle ball at. We used to call it, I don't know what we used to call it, Gilligan's Island, I think. Yeah, Gilligan's Island. Little island right here. The city bus used to be right there. And this, wow, on Farmington. Crazy memories right now, bro. I can't believe I'm in here, bro. This is where all my memories are at. There's a basement in this house, bro, where we used to party all the time, bro. Throw all the bangers. We used to play wiffle ball in the back. And I don't know, that's where everything happened, bro. It was fun. Starting from here, this is where I used to chill. There used to be a pool right here. I don't know if it exists anymore. We're gonna check right now. No way, is it there still? Dang, it's not there no more. Who wants to get a slice of pizza from Perk Pizza real quick? This is like where I used to chill at, bro. How are you? You don't remember me. I used to come here all the time. But now, let me show you some pictures. Maybe you do. Hey, Look, hold on. I know. It's so crazy to see you. I used to be here all the time, huh? This one. Oh my God, that's you, bro. This one. That's me on the street. I used to come here every, cause the bus used to drop us off right here. Yeah, yeah, like I got some people to come here. Yeah, yeah. So I travel the world now. You live in uh, Florida now? Florida now, yeah. Yeah? Ah, uh, thank you. I see you, always, take care. I'll see you. If you see Ozzy, tell him I said, tell him that the bird came by. Yeah? All right. All right. That's crazy. That's crazy, huh? I mean, this is nuts, bro. This is where I used to. This is where I used to be all the time, bro. I'm shocked. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go bring something to Nick real quick. We at Nick's house, and we about to surprise him with some pizza. With some delicious 
Park pizza. Let's go. The best pizza. You ready? You guys ready? Yeah. Oh! Emelita Legend! Oh! What up? <laughs> My God, dude! There's only there's only a few of those in the world. Yeah, man. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, I love it for you, like experiencing all this shit. Yo, it was crazy. It's crazy because it reminds me of like being in studio, like walking through all those guys. That that was felt, bro. But it felt like on a different level. It was dope, bro. Seeing Bird do his thing, man. It's official, bro. Boys gonna try to get part of the team, man. You know, sharp phase, man. Nick All Star, hit me. Shout out to the guys at Los Garcias. They just hooked me up for the low, meaning like I didn't even pay a dollar. <laughs> Let's go. The guys remembered me. Always showing love, you know? So let's go uh, Let's go eat some. At the end of it all, there's nothing more special than being with family. After a long week of hard work, doing shows, traveling, filming, and creating content, there's nothing better than just spending time with those loved ones and then getting ready to say goodbye. All right, we're dropping off Marino, man. It's been a really beautiful journey. Thank you for coming out and being a part of my my personal life. But it's time that we show you leaving. Bro, thank you so much. You, had, uh, you enjoyed it? Yeah, you could keep the camera. All right. <laughs> Love, bro. Love you, bro. Thank you, bro. I see you. Yeah. See you soon. I'll be I like you I'll be it. like you one day. Nah, you be yourself. <laughs> Love you.